Hey gang, welcome back to the big board. Kind of jammed up for space here, so I've <laughs> got a piece of Plex over a map of another game. And we're going to have a quick shriek rip look at Forgotten Legions, which is the deluxe signature edition from Compass Games of a couple of Vance bon Von Bari's games uh, bundled into a box, Drive on Damascus and Bloody Karen. So we're going to look at the components real quickly, but what I'm also going to do, uh, let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison with the original Drive on Damascus, which I happen to still own. I want to show you the, the obviously there's a significant difference in the, you know, this is, this is from the Wargamer magazine, so it's a magazine edition, it's a block edition, uh, but we'll have a look at the two and see see what sort of the value for money thing that you're, you're, you're getting out of all this. So really nice box art, very thematic, and all that sort of good fun stuff. I'm going to get the lid off and then we're going to lay the components out and I'll pick up the camera and have a look at everything because I, I don't want to work, work on all this one-handed. Uh, I've already had a look at the components and the rules internally, and I will just tell you right now, this is probably one of the nicest packages that I've seen come out of Compass Games in a long time in terms of the quality of the paper, the artwork, number of maps, clarity of uh, usage on charts and things like that. These are really well done here. Let's see if we can get these. And then we'll have a look at the maps. Let me see if I can just lay out Drive on Damascus. It's each map, each game is one and a bit maps. Uh, and you'll see what I mean by one and a bit in a second. Let's see if I can lay this out the right way. We'll put this over the top and we'll do the map first. And here's the bloody Karen map we'll look at in a second. Uh, or maybe not, maybe we'll just put this in on. Yeah, what is this? This is... This is the second map of Drama Damascus. So it's a big, this is a big two mapper. You can see there's a little bit of overlap there, but that's the two map edition, right? And the Bloody Karen is a smaller, uh, it's, it's a, a half a map, I would say, of additional. So it's one full map and a half map. But here's your components. And these are super large hexes. Really nice. Great artwork on this. Uh, and let's just show you how that compared to the magazine game, which uh, I bought this game on a whim. Uh, actually up in Seattle. Someone was trying to get rid of it. And when I say trying to get rid of it, they ripped me off. <laughs> I paid a lot of money for this game uh, because of this map, which is beautiful in of itself. A gorgeous map. Obviously it's oriented slightly differently, but there's Damascus there. So you can see in here, you'll see there's no hex, hex outlines. There's just dots to uh, show you the center of the hexes, but it's a beautiful map. Comes with, you know, your standard black and white rules and they're super tight, tight font. All right. Um, <clears throat> organization charts and stuff like that, which you'll see in this version shortly, the new version. Pretty dense uh, rule layout. It's a bit of a challenge to to read and it's one of the things that slowed me down from trying to play it. I believe it came punched or maybe I maybe I clipped it myself. It looks like I might have clipped this. This looks like my clipping. And you know, fairly generic counters for the error and for the time. So two beautiful renditions really of particularly a map artwork. You can certainly couldn't complain about that. I'm gonna keep this game, although I may put this map up in a frame put it on a wall, I think that'll look rather nice. And we'll let's try and not mess up my game underneath here. Have a look at the components a little closer up. Without trashing the joint. Okay, so. You're gonna have to bear with me with the stand. It's a bit wonky today. Charts. So CRTs, very clear to read, nicely done. It's your standard one to three, six to one. 
with your D1s and A1s and D2s and all that sort of fun stuff. It's all straightforward uh, losses and retreats type of thing. Here's the setup charts. You can see how different that is compared to the, the original. But certainly full color and very, very pretty. And on the back, you've got the Karen, bloody Karen set up as well. Uh, another CRT, so there's one for each player. Here's the little, I think this is the skinny part of the map. Yeah, it's the skinny part of the map for a Karen. Like I said, it's a, a half a map of a cut vertically. And then you've got your counter sheets. You can see that they are the large, I'm going to say these are 5 eighths, are they? Or not, or are they 9 sixteenths? I always get this wrong. And uh, it doesn't say here. But there are only 2, 4, 6, 8 across, so I think that makes them 5 eighths counters. If I recall correctly, someone told me how to work that out. But they're big, very easy to read. Even the unit de unit designations on them are easy to read. You can see them up close. Nice uh, counter thickness. Well attached in the sprues and obviously well set as well. So I'll be excited to get this to the table at some point. Now here's the thing that I was particularly impressed with. In order to make this a, a playable release, interesting release, consumable release, I guess is the right word. First of all, paper, very nice. It's that paper you could, uh, you know, write in pencil on this, and it's gonna, it's not that shiny stuff. So you can sit here under. Uh, well, I've got LEDs burning on this, and it's easy enough to see. But great layout. Uh, there's a set of standard rules for both the games, so it's so. You'll read these rules first, which clock in at uh, 20 pages all up, including uh, no notes, but example of combat in the back here, with, which is two pages long, full color examples, lots of nice diagrams and bits and pieces everywhere. I was pretty impressed with the format here. And then the, uh, I guess the game specific rules for each one, which is gonna, it just continues the page count from the first rule book and goes from 22 through to 31. So another eight or nine pages or so of rules and the scenarios, designer notes, and then the bloody Karen rules designer section and note, designer notes on that as well. So it's really nicely done. And look, the little full color counter sheets in the back here. That's a handy little thing to have. Uh, so Todd Davis has done an excellent, excellent job on this and got to give credit to the package, package design guys, uh, Bruce Yearn and Brian Miller. Really well done. Uh, I'd, I'd probably like to say that you know, there's been a lot of talk online about these designer signature edition releases. The first one or two, I think, were hit or miss. The African campaign thing had a lot of errata, a lot of counter issues, and was, you know, all, all in all, a disappointment, I think. And for such a, well, shit, for such a notable game, it was disappointing that that, that had happened. I think the Russian campaign edition, new edition, will be interesting. It's got lots of potential. This seems to have hit the mark. I haven't gone online and looked and, and checked out the errata or any declared issues. I've only heard good stuff about it so far. But my quick examination and skim of the rules and a little look at the rules here compared to the original rules. This is a you know larger font, easier to read, better layout. I think artistically, this is a huge win, and we'll see if the gameplay, uh, uh, you know, all works out in the wash, as they say. So, really nice job. Looking to see, uh, there's a whole bunch of Compass Games reboots uh, of a similar nature from Victory Games and West End Games. I'll be uh, very interested to follow how those are done, given the volume that are coming out. I'd like to hope that 
the attention to detail and level of excellence that we seem to be seeing here will continue. So uh, great job, Compass Games, and we'll look forward to seeing more of this. And John, I know you're leading the charge on this, John Kranz, so uh, well done. And a, a great, uh, a great uh, pickup after uh, the initial early missteps with, with, uh, with the African campaign. But nevertheless, uh, I would not say you should be worried about getting into these games. These are pretty reasonably priced, lots of good quality content. And I think you can probably approach them now with some confidence given that uh, based on this and uh, some other bits and pieces I've seen, a really good, uh, good effort here by Compass, so all the best.